My name is Adam Fitzgerald. I graduated in 2005. I'm giving a poetry reading tonight with uh, an alumni who also graduated in 2005, Joseph Speech. And so it's a great opportunity to come back um, and, and share some poems. My process is I tend to overwrite and write too much. And then I let it sit and I try not to look at it for a while. And when I come back at it, I almost try and look at it like a foreign material that I just want to organize and group in such a way that it seems like nothing more can be done to it. And when it feels pleasing rather than frustrating, I try to let the paint dry. One of the poems I'm going to read tonight is called The Relay Station. It's one of the earliest poems that I've written that I chose to include in my first book, The Late Parade. I think I had started for the first time reading the work of John Ashbery, and uh, this can be a very difficult, challenging, baffling poet, but I was so interested in the tone of a kind of uh, sad whimsy, a kind of understated melancholy that his work had, even if the images were seemingly disconnected on the surface. And so I figured, well, why don't I try and do something like that? And this was one of the first poems I remember writing and showing to my teachers and some of my friends on campus where um, there seemed to be more joy than smirk in their reaction. We sleep in private homes now, forgetting the laundry or whomever's name. Snow comes in blankets, nothing about the outdoors being lonely except it's the outdoors. The same ones are opened, Piles of ghosted marginalia end up at the end where they belong. A chord or two's tangled, songs drift. Soon, or even sooner than that, what's tucked inside isn't dark in the sense of darkness, but resting like the uncle we love's hat. Wide tracks of things we've thought about cool into a freeze, waiting to be tracked down one day until a lone key is minted. I or someone else hums, Tissues are collected, dust settles. Our trust is newly renovated like faucets since fate set that way and today never happening feels no more an imposter than the rest of us. Something not to be looked on as anything but what fell between a casualty of sorts, woods or wares as it were. News comes, furniture plays furniture. If what we exchange rumbles in too much quiet, then it means this for you. Afternoon grievances or friends to be arranged. Tea steam purring from the kettle almost. Thank you. Thank you.